Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. So, um, I've been pretty sick uh, the past couple days. Sorry, I did not stream yesterday like I intended to. I'm still feeling pretty under the weather. I couldn't sleep today, so I decided to just get an early start of my day. And lo and behold, I saw some tweets from Gina Bruno. And uh, this, this really gives me hope. This is amazing. So let me go ahead and read the tweets here. So from Gina Bruno, I think this was like 12 hours ago, something like that. I've seen a lot of people mentioning wanting a list of known issues and bugs for a game. Some food for thought. Which bugs get included? What if there are hundreds, thousands? How do I decide on which ones to list? It goes on to say, let's talk about communication. I always see people saying they want better communication, uh, excuse me, communication from the devs. But what does that really mean to you? How do you define communication? What types of things are you typically looking for? Or where are you looking for it? So. Um, I replied to this. Uh, let me know what you guys think also down in the comments if I should have worded this differently. So I replied, all we really want is a roadmap for the dev team and what we're focusing on, right? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what your plans are to fix all the bugs in the game, but at least some sort of acknowledgement that, hey, there is a priority list of bugs. So that leads into the next question. How do you prioritize this list? And let me finish reading my tweet back to her and uh, i'll uh, extrapolate on that so all we really want is roadmap for the dev team uh, what the dev team is focusing on i would like to see the dev team reach out to various content creators such as myself and zilla you know whoever so that those creators can productively relay the concerns of the community onto the dev team so we can reach a compromise and essentially what i'm meaning by this is that there's an amalgamation of things to fix and the dev team needs a priority list of what to work on and I feel the best way to do that is to reach out to the heads of each community, like the PvE community and also the PvP community, and use us content creators as sort of a middleman to um, filter out what we want the dev team to focus on because, you know, they're very limited. Holiday is still tough, you know, COVID's still a thing. So I feel that this is a great idea, you know, have really indirect communication with some of the dev team members, even myself, I would love to, and then have the community voice their opinions and thoughts to us. And then from all of these opinions and the huge list of things that we're, I'm sure we're going to get, focus on narrow it down to some highlighted items. And then we bring that information to the dev team and then we can have the back and forth correspondence between the dev team and the content creators and kind of see what is actually feasible and what can be worked on and what will be an easy fix, what will be a hard fix and just kind of the banter back and forth from there. So that's what I was trying to get from this tweet. Um, if she replies or anything with an update, uh, I will let you guys know. But uh, there are a lot of other good tweets to this. It was actually a very productive thread. I know some people are kind of malicious and sarcastic. Um, that's not going to get anything done. Um, this is our chance to really voice our opinions. You know, Gina put this out, you know, this this thread out there. You know, it, it is going to be open for backlash. It's going to be open for a lot of criticism. But from what I've read, um, it actually has been pretty productive. I mean, of course, people have taken things down, I'm sure. But still, um, we'll go ahead and read through a few more ideas here i know there's um some ideas from uh, captain crunch and uh turn my phone down here sorry fellas but uh yeah this this made me really hopeful guys waking up to this i was actually about to just scream and play halo but uh um even if there are one thousand bugs this is from a no lollygagging they would have to correlate back to tracking and jira right i don't know what all this is uh tracking page blah 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 i mean this, this is kind of an okay idea right um, but I feel that you can consolidate all of this into just back and forth between the various content creators. You know, Gina says, I'm not saying I don't want to do this, but keeping a public facing list like that update is a full time job itself. Exactly. So, um, she pointed out, you know, like someone would have to do this and keep up with this job list and, you know, whatever. Well, just let us content creators do it, you know, that, that would be my suggestion. We'll go ahead and read through uh, a few more here just to uh, give you guys an idea of what's kind of going on here. I know posts like this can leave you vulnerable to the wolves at times, so in case, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we, we got some simping going on here. That's uh, perfectly fine. They probably need it. Um, Gina is actually being very, uh, very kind and open in these tweets as well. So kudos to her. Um, we got my eek here. That's a tough question. I'd say probably 
only those that had the most impact or being complained about most often are the ones where the community can help them when you have workarounds eg there was a bug in Merton Meyer quest where i kept falling through the floor see little bugs like this i wouldn't really concern with the whole uh infrastructure of the game right the, these aren't the bugs i mean yeah they're annoying but they're not going to make people not play eso so this is why i was talking about having like a a content creator from pve and pvp and having everything filtered so that they can then prioritize what uh, should be worked on um but uh if you guys want to read through this and um, this is uh, i'll leave a link to it in the uh, description oh. um there's a couple more comments i want to go over as well i got some really funny gifts right uh, there was one here from Captain Crunch. Um, he was very... Yeah, here we go. Actual patch notes for small patches would be nice. Uh, this would be really nice. Then we would feel like you guys are fixing bugs, not just adding stuff to the crown store. And, I mean, this is a really good point because if you are making changes and alterations and you're working behind the scenes to fix the game, but you don't tell us, how do we know? We just think you're being lazy at that point, right? And not really caring. So, if you're doing work and brag about it, you know, tell us... This is what you're working on. Um, for example, when you guys or, or, or when the, the dev team showed us that they banned a lot of bot accounts and people exploiting uh, some proc set bugs, um, that was uh, that was pretty awesome. Like, just do stuff like that. Um, there's a lot more replies. We're not really going to get into all these, but I just want to bring this to your guys' attention that the dev team is actually reaching out and please be productive and be very kind it is, this is kind of like treading softly more or less on uh, broken eggshells at this point and if we do not constructively voice our concerns to the dev team i'm sure they're just going to shut down and, you know just, just say screw it and cash out at the end of the year right so um be kind if you want to respond to this um let me know what you guys think about my idea of having like content creators as a middleman to kind of narrow the focus on what bugs and what performances need to be worked on and you know also if you know i have like a very small roadmap of what you guys are working on and if the dev team simply cannot do something don't sugarcoat it just tell us we'd rather know that hey you cannot fix this instead of us wondering and make you know just you know asking ourselves 20 questions you know do they even care you know well, why should i even bother playing this game and you know just just tell us we're all adults i'm sure the average age who plays the game is like 27 years old so i mean it's not like we're a bunch of little kids and i mean we act like it sometimes i mean let's let's be real but uh <laughs> um this has really been all i wanted to uh, talk about fellas again i will leave the link to this uh, thread in the description as well uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, what Gina's doing here and how long it's going to take. Um, she seemed pretty urgent about it. Uh, this, again, um, this makes me very hopeful. I'm glad we started to receive some of this during the beginning of the year. Yeah, I, I, I said around you know the New Year's that we'll actually start getting some communication. So this is right on track as predicted and uh, I'm pretty hopeful. Um, yeah, uh, that's really all I had to say guys. And again, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my YouTube community members. Could not be doing this without you. I wish you guys a very, very happy holidays and you have a great rest of your evening. Peace.